Hey, PC. Hey, man, what's up? I need to transfer this file to my local server. Uh, I want to play Minecraft. I need the wiki page open, and I'm going to talk with my friends on Discord. And maybe play some music. Can you handle all that? <laughs> yeah, I got that easy. Cool. You know, I always wondered, how do you not get all that, like, data confused? Do the apps have to keep confirming who's sending what data? No, no, no. Uh, I use ports. Hey, 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 hey how are you doing? Oh. Well, how do those work? Yeah, they're basically like different entry and exit ways that I monitor and each have a different number. I, I can listen for or send data through them. Some of them are kind of predefined for certain things like 21 for FTP for your file transfer or port 80 for HTTP data for your websites. Any other application can use basically whatever port they want as long as they reserve it. I can only really use one application per port, otherwise then it would get jumbled up. For instance, Minecraft commonly uses 25565. Well, what if I'm hosting two different Minecraft servers and I want both of them to use port 25565? See, then you need port forwarding. Uh, my buddy, the router, he can monitor data from outside the network going through a port and route that to an IP and port combo. So he can route it to one IP on 25565 or the other IP on 25565, as long as the external port is different. So then the router takes the incoming traffic, decides which PC it needs to go to and forwards the correct port. So that's why your friend might have to change the port on the game to match the port that you have the server on because they're gonna have to be different. Huh. But internally, your computer might think that they're both 25565. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Also, my Minecraft's lagging. Can you fix that? Yeah, maybe if you invest some more money in me. I mean, there's only so much I can do. 